Yeah, climbing in the Midwest was a huge surprise to me. I had never heard about it. And when I first moved down to Missouri, I was just like, crap, there's no, no climbing around there. I thought it was just gonna be flat. Really discovered a lot of stuff down here at Providence. It's always a different experience. It seems like each time you climb a route, it's a little bit different than the last time you climbed it. So I was very excited to find that there were hundreds of routes within a 20 minute drive of where I lived. It was, it was awesome, yeah. It's a nice undercling right not under sure. the roof. Yeah, I'm still not sure about that beta on the on Just the reach list. as far left as you can get. Yeah. Uh, next time send a card got a name because the gentleman who said it uh, did so as a birthday gift for his wife. And uh, he came home and said, oh, I, I set a route for you for your birthday. And as a, your gift, you get to name it. And her response was, well, next time, just send a card. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it's a really cool route because it, it has two really difficult parts uh, that are pretty mentally challenging. The first one is uh, you have to pull this overhanging bulge and the mental part about that is once you pull the move, you can't down climb back to where you were, so you're committed. And then the second one up top is really committing because it's, it's really blank and really balancy and you're just, uh, you can't you can't tell where you need to go. It, 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 uh, it takes a lot of work. Well, this is where it starts to get really hard. And I don't remember the beta <laughs> at all. So I'm trying to watch every little move that James is making. Hope that didn't hit anything down here. Nope. Cool. I didn't ever expect climbing like this to exist in Missouri. Uh, I've lived here my whole life and didn't actually ever discover it until I was in graduate school. And then since then I've just kind of delved into it. This route is actually very interesting. I think it has a really slabby, balancy start and then you get to this weird bulge that requires some uh, more strength than the lower part of the route. and. Getting over that is a little bit challenging, both physically and mentally, because you can't see you know, what you're placing your hands on. And then when you get into the top of the route, you're in this very exposed dihedral sort of uh, corner that you're forced to kind of wiggle your way up. It's, it's a little scary. I have not done it that many times, but it's, it's definitely one of my new favorites out here. I mean, when I first moved here, there were no guidebooks. There was it was just kind of word of mouth. You, you met people and they told you where this crag was or that crag was and you'd come out, try to figure out which route was which. But when uh, Mo Beta came out, it, uh, it really changed the game because just anyone can go buy that book and figure out you know, where the routes are and what you know, routes within their climbing abilities they can get on. It's, it's great to have so many options just right around where you live. Especially when you get to the top of the route and you look back and you see like the beautiful river and all these, you know, great farm fields and it's just, it's a surprising uh, view once you get to the top of the cliffs and it's honestly not something I anticipated discovering here in Missouri.